Hi folks, welcome to Get This. I'm Dr. M.M. and here's One Note, Episode 9. The Draw Tab, Part 1 Which is very simple and easy to use. I have the Type Text button that will allow me to do just that, Type Text. There is an eraser which I can use to erase the shapes I'm not happy with. The eraser tool has four different options. The stroke eraser, which works like this. The small eraser, which looks like this, and I think it's a little bit hard to manipulate. The medium eraser, now we are in business. And the large eraser, which is slightly bigger than the medium one, but to my eyes, they look pretty much the same size. Next to the eraser, I see a bunch of different pencils and pens with different thicknesses and colors, starting with black pen 0.5 millimeters, red pen of 0.5 millimeters, a gray pencil, at one millimeter and a highlighter. Notice that the default color for the highlighter is yellow, but I can change it as well when I click on this down arrow. The first choice for me is to increase or decrease the thickness by clicking on the correct one or just by clicking on the minus or plus signs. Additionally, I can pick any of the default 16 colors. If they're not what I'm looking for, I just need to click on more colors and pick any of these. Notice down here that uh, there is a color bar and uh, when I click on any of the colors on the bar, I'm presented with 18 different palette choices related to the color I picked. The palette changes every time I click on a color as you can see. And over here, the yellow default color is always present in case I want to get it back. Now, let's move back to the pens. Notice that every time I click on a pen or a pencil, the arrow for making additional thickness and color choices will pop up. These two pens have additional more fancy colors than the pencil. Let's check them out. And here are the pencil colors, not too fancy, I might say, as in the case of the pen. If I need to keep some particular pens, pencils or highlighters on this bar, the plus sign over here will help me add some more. I just need to pick the tool I want to use, then the thickness and the color and I'm done. Due to the fact that I drew with this pen, my cursor has become a dot, as you can see here. Now, all I need to do to get it back is to click on the Type Text button over here. Well, here's shapes, divided into lines, basic shapes, and graphs. Before I even consider drawing my shapes, I must remember to choose a pen, a pencil, or a highlighter. Let me pick this pen and the lava color down here. Now, in order for me to draw something on the canvas, I need to pick a shape. Let me go with this rectangle and then drag on the canvas. Beautiful. Set of exclusive shape borders, right? Now, at this point in time, it's not possible to change the shape color. There's nothing anywhere in the tabs allowing you to do so. If you want to, you can color the shape with the highlighter, being careful not to go outside its edges.
Now let me change my cursor back and select this shape. Notice that when I click on it, this menu will show up, allowing me to cut, copy, paste, and delete the shape. Cut and delete perform the same action. So you can see what happens to the shape with our next tool. I decided just to use the highlighter to fill two sides uh, with color. Now down here, let me focus first on rotate. When I click on it, I see rotate right 90 degrees first. Now undo. Again, rotate left 90 degrees, undo. Click on the shape, click on rotate, click on flip horizontal, undo. Click on the shape, click on rotate, click on flip vertical, undo. You may have noticed that every time I clicked on the shape, the ungroup button became available. What happens is that in order for me to keep both the shape and the green color together, I selected both of them and put them together so they could also move together. Now let me ungroup and show you what happens. When I click on the rectangle and drag it to the side, the color stays in place. Undo. Now let me select both of them, click on them, and group them. Now when I drag the shape, the green color comes along for the right. You may also have seen the order uh, button every time I clicked on the shape, like so. So you can see what it does. I decided to draw three rectangles with different border colors. And I have placed the rectangles one on top of each other. How did I do that? Well, the order button helped me accomplish the mission. Let me reverse the order so you can see how it's done. The first rectangle is on top of the others. See? And this rectangle is behind all of them. Now, let me click on the first one and put it in the middle. Order, send backward. Just one step. Again, let me send it all the way to the back. Order, send backward. Now let me bring it all the way to the front in one step so I can send it again all the way to the back in one step as well. Order, bring to front. Order, send to back. As you can see, send backward and bring forward allow the shape just to move backward one shape at a time or forward just one shape at a time. While send to back and bring to front send the object or shape all the way to the back behind the stack or bring it all the way to the front or top of the stack. That's what the order tool does. Well, what do you know? That's the end of today's video, folks. I hope you can make full use of the draw tab from now on. Stay tuned for part two. I'm Dr. MM and I really want you to get this.